In this video, we'll be looking at partial fractions and effective use of the CX CAS in figuring out partial fractions questions. So to start with our first example, let's find the partial fraction form of 3x squared plus 10x plus 8 all over 3x plus 4 cubed times x squared minus 4. Okay, so on our calculators, the best way to do partial fractions is to simply use the expand command. So to use expand, we're going to use menu, then algebra, number three, and then expand is number three again. Press control and divide to get the division symbol, and then simply press the answer, the buttons to get the answers. 3x squared plus 10x plus eight, and then go down, and then bracket, 3x plus 4, close bracket to the power of 3, and press right arrow, and then open bracket, x squared minus 4. Then you simply have to press enter, and we get the, the form of the partial fractions here. Now, just as a bit of, a bit of an aside and a bit of a expansion of what's, what's happening over here, you might notice that the 3x plus 4 cubed you don't see 3x plus 4 cubed at the bottom, and also you don't see x squared minus 4. You only see one of its factors, which is x minus 2. To explore this a bit further, it's a good idea to factorize both uh, just simply the top, uh, the top expression over there. So to use factorize, menu, algebra, which is number 3, and 2 for factor. And 3x squared plus 10x plus eight, enter. And now, what's, now what you can see is that the top expression has a three X plus four in it, which cancels with one of three X plus fours in the denominator. And that is why the denominator has only three X plus four and three X plus four squared. Furthermore, there's an X plus two on the numerator, and there's another X plus two hidden inside X squared minus four in the denominator. And that is why there is only x minus 2 on the bottom. Therefore, heading back, our answer is a over x minus 2 plus b over 3x plus 4 plus c over 3x plus 4 squared. This, is, this typically ends up as a multiple choice sort of question. So to really analyze it properly, it's always a good idea to factorize the top and the bottom in these cases. Moving on to the next example, we want the partial fraction form of 3x plus 1 over x times x minus 2 squared. Now, there's, uh, you, we can't really factorize the numerator or the denominator. However, it's a good idea to check with the CAS using the expand command. So going back to our CAS, let's use expand again. Menu, 3 for algebra, 3 for expand. Control, divide, and our question is 3x plus 1 x plus 1 over x multiplied by, now this multiplied by is very important. Otherwise, the calculator will assume that x is a function, which we do not want it to assume. So x multiplied by x minus 2, close bracket, squared. Press enter, and we can see that the, form, the partial fraction form of this has the form 1 over 4x, and then we have two fractions with x minus 2, and x minus 2 squared, respectively, in the denominators. Again, a really good multiple choice question, which is what this will be one of the options that you will see. Finally, moving on to our final example, we want the partial fraction form of 3x plus 1 over x minus 1 squared times x squared plus 1. Again, we can't really factorize the numerator any further than it currently is. However, we can use expand on our CAS to get the final answer. So using expand as before, menu three, three, control, divide, and our numerator is three X plus one, and our denominator is bracket X minus one, close bracket squared, multiplied by X squared plus one in another bracket. Press enter, and here we go. So we have the two fractions here, 1 over 2 times x minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 squared, 
Those are the partial fraction forms that came from x minus 1 squared. And we finally have x minus 3 all over 2 times x squared plus 1, which is the form created from the irreducible quadratic on the denominator. And hence, if this was a multiple choice question, the option that would be correct has a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 1 squared plus cx plus d over x squared plus 1 as its final form. Thanks for checking out this video. 